Okay, so I just started Bible journaling and I wanted to go through just kind of what I had done so far and what I'd learned. And if nobody else, this is for me because um, there's just a few things that have come to light recently. Um, so just like I said, I'm a few weeks in. So I'm not going to go, I'm going to go chronologically or actually in order the Bible's written. That's not chronological. I'm not in order of which I've done these pages. So let me look at this first one here and then I'll kind of share some things I'm learning along the way. So um, this was what I did, one of my first entries. He counts the stars and calls them by name. And um, just to do the technical things, um, this is a Project Life card. And what I'm trying to do as much as possible on the different verses I choose is somehow journal about them. And so um, I use a little paper clip I got from Hobby Lobby that's a star. And um, I've written my little journal on the back of it. And then just did some handwriting and punched out some stars. And then I did do a stitch here down it with some gold thread. And I used this thing. So I'm going to do the technical first. It's called So Easy. Again, used a coupon, got it at Hobby Lobby, but they sell it um, lots of different places. And when you run it along the page, it makes holes so that you can stitch. And they sell all different heads so you could do like a zigzag or different like skip stitches and whatever. It comes with a needle. And there's actually a place in this where you can store your needle. But... I will forget that it's there. So until I'm really familiar with this tool, I'm keeping it in the package and just taping the needle to it. So I did that and then sewed it. The other thing that I learned the hard way the very first time I tried this with something else is that you need a foam mat to do this. And they sound really cheap. And I'm not one of these hard mats because when I tried to put it underneath it and create the stitch, it broke some of the little heads off my um, thing. But it still worked fine for this. But it um, broke some of the little pokey things because um, they're not supposed to be on these hard plastics. So that's the first one I did. And, um, let me, sorry, no text. Um, and then I've been trying to do a little date, right? So far I've been hand stitching. I know a lot of people stamp it and that's fine. Um, and on the back you can see through and that's fine. My only real goal in Bible journaling is that, um, I don't cover up the words of the Bible and that's just a personal preference. But what I can do in this, like what I imagine someday when I come back to journal this page is I'll probably put it like a piece of scrapbook paper here. So I cover up some of those things and um, or you could paint it white um, but since it has that I'll probably do like a piece of scrapbook or some pieces of scrapbook and just make it a mix of things like that okay this was actually my very first page and this is um, just kind of a little lesson that I'm having to remind myself is um, I don't want to obsess over the things I don't like so I don't want to say this is my favorite page or this is my least favorite page or why I do or don't like a page because the whole idea behind this is a personal thing for me and um, I don't think and I know, I should say, I know that that is not of God when I'm concerned about like, oh, I don't like the way my handwriting looks there. I wish I'd chosen just different stickers that poked up, blah, blah, blah. And so there's a whole big Bible here that I get to journal and it's okay if, in fact, none of the pages should be perfect. Um, but what they are is just um, my expression of my relationship with God and what I'm learning about Him. Um, and so, um, just like this says, she's more precious than rubies. And, um, again, I took some washi tape down this little card that comes on a 12 by 12 pack with all different cards from Illustrated Faith Journal on the back. Um, this, and this time it's less of a journal and more of, um, cause I think this speaks for itself. The devil knows your name, but calls you by your sin. God knows your sin, but calls you by your name. And that's a quote by someone named Richard Sanchez. And someone had told me that once. And so, um, this again is a thicker page, um, but it was significant. So even though I want this Bible to be about who God is, cause that's what the Bible is for me. Um, Part of who God is, is a loving father. And so he thinks we're precious. And so this one is a little bit thicker. You see when I close it, they're not going to all be that thick, obviously, but some of them are, and that's okay. Um, I hope that my Bible is bulging with praise for him. All right. So another page that I did most recently um, is this one. So this was a page I did for my godchildren. And um, I took the Proverbs verse, train up a child in the way of the Lord. Um, when he's old, he shall not depart. And so um, I just took some stickers from Hobby Lobby. These are just scraps of scrapbook paper. And then I printed off a picture of the two of them. And so when I turn to that, like, it's very specific to me. Like, I took on this duty as a godparent um, very thoughtfully and purposefully. And um, I know what I try to do is to first be fun, you know, for them and have a good relationship with them. But more importantly, um, be a godly example. And so this, these are them at their baptisms with myself and their mamas. And then I made a bookmark in this case. This was actually from the Illustrated Faith 
um, collection. It was from the Christmas collection. It was like your top six Christmas songs or something. And I just covered that up with another sticker and some washi. The sticker was an Illustrated Faith. And then I made this tassel um, that pokes out. And um, I try to, not all of them have something that like kind of says what the pages are for, but I wanted to mark off the pages at least at this point. And so that's how I'm marking this one off. And I'm putting prayers for them. And so I will be adding more. But of course, the most important prayer for each of my godchildren is that they would have a relationship with Jesus Christ and put their faith in him. So again, on the back, I just journaled what it means to me um, to be a godparent and just like how special it is. So um, that's that page. Um, real simple, but um, probably more meaningful than some. Okay, I'm having a little trouble with the sticker squishing down. Okay, so this is um, Here I Am, Send Me. It's one of my very favorite verses by Isaiah. I made a little paper clip here and um, just tied some ribbon on that. Um, I also, just going back to this, I did make this paper clip too. This is a bow from the Christmas collection at Hobby Lobby. And I just took a paper clip and hot glued a piece of construction paper between the, um, the little uh, foam that this came on and the paper clip and then on the back was this to hold it all in place and sandwich it all together. So, and this one I just made with some string and then put a little heart on there. Um, and then took a piece of the verse and put Isaiah 6, 8 where it came from. And then I made this journal card out of just some scrap paper I have that is, um, in this case, it's uh, the part of it was Brazil, which is where I've done most of my, well, all of my foreign missions. And so again, it flips up and um, I took a photo, like I'm trying to be real personal about this. I took a photo of the boat um, and then just kind of what this verse means to me. So um, there's that one. And then I have two more that I've done. And then I'm gonna try to pause every five or six of these so that um, I can just speak about them for my own sake. So um, this one, I found on Pinterest this idea. And so I love this. Um, if you have faith as, as small as a mustard seed, nothing is impossible. And I have a necklace that has a mustard seed inside of it. And um, underlying the verse. And what I liked about this when I saw it was just the simplicity. Um, because it's supposed to be about like how tiny the mustard seed is. And so if I just made this page, um, just totally bedazzled this page up, it kind of um, defeats the purpose of the verse for me is that it's so simple yet we make it so, we, as in me, <laughs> make it so complicated. And so um, it's one of my verses. And so sometimes these verses are just some of my favorite verses and I have like a list of things that I can't, I can't wait to, um, to uh, journal. But then what I'm trying to do as well, and this is the first example and I'm about to start another one, is when I'm doing devotionals or at church, if something like really strikes me, I want to do a page on that. And so this helps me take, I keep notes, just a note taker. There's a teacher in me. So these are my current, you know, notes from church. And so I take those notes and just kind of like put them all together in my mind and think about like, how would I demonstrate this artistically? Again, in this case, this was more something I'd seen and I loved it. But this was from Colossians. This was a sermon from last week, Colossians 1.16. All things are created through him and for him. And then um, I kind of like summarize the notes, like everything God has done in the history of the world and in my personal life is so that Jesus will be the Lord of my life. And um, that's kind of a quote from then. And then God's purpose is to conform us into his image. What he does in my life or allows is so that myself and others point to him. I was made by Jesus through Jesus and for Jesus. And so um, this was just a reminder to me last week as we were doing this um, that everything points back to Jesus. And so <laughs> though this is not, and it's just a beautiful story. So I just wanted to have a beautiful page. And um, I'm about to do another one from Matthew where um, the four friends take their friend who's a um who's paralyzed and lower him through the roof and so that was today's sermon and i have some ideas for that and um, i'll definitely be posting pictures on um, instagram when i'm done um but in the meantime um these are the pages i've done so far and these are kind of learnings um this one just a little side note was an acrylic painting and just through a lot of research um, i was told that this was the best art basic um gesso or gesso i don't even know clear um 
and you just paint the whole page with that and then you just use I just use some cheap acrylic paint not this particular bottle but some 50 cent paint and just painted it and then um, it really did a good job of not bleeding through and I used a slip of wax paper or they sell some Bible journaling plastic sheets you can put back here so as you're painting um, it doesn't slip through but how awesome is that I'm thinking maybe that would work on some of the pin problem pin bleeding problems I'm having but I don't know this again was a um, project life card and then I just made a little like handle thing with my um, illustrated face stickers and then on the back I just covered it with some paper so it wouldn't be sticky on the back too so very fun that's I'm having a really good time um, I'm sure I'll slow down some <laughs> but um, so far I've really enjoyed just uh, like going to church and thinking like okay how can I summarize this in a picture because that's really how I express myself in life is through art